He say things that we really don't mean We do things in between the lines We should do more than step back I'm sorry if I made you feel Less than who you are A little insecure I'm used to shining stuff I wanna spend My nights with you My life with you Hey guys, Queen of Hearts here and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I will be showing you guys how I use this Revlon Color Silk Box Dye to dye my My Hair Locker unit jet black. Uh, that was the look I was going for. As you can see, it's kind of um, a brownish black color right now, but we're going to take care of that. I picked up three boxes of dye from my local Walmart. They ran about $2.97 each. They came with the um, mixer along with the hair dye. So um, I put on some gloves because this can get really me messy. Um, as you can see, I'm just showing you guys what all came in the box. Okay, so I am gonna throw this out there as a disclaimer. I am not a professional hairstylist or a hair colorist, anything of that nature, I am not. I just know what works. Right now, I am just mixing the dye with the other mix. I don't even know what that is. It may be developer, I don't know. I just know what works. Next, as you can see, I'm shaking it really well just to make sure the product is mixed very well um, before we add it onto our unit. Now the fun part. <laughs> uh, I'm just squirting this color mixture all over the unit. I am holding it by the lace so I can make sure that I do not um, mess up the closure with the black dye. So I'm just squirting it everywhere. This hair is 26 inches long with a 20 inch closure. So um, I'm not just squirting it in the sink. I'm really putting it all over the hair. Um, as you can see, as I am nearing the lace, I'm being very careful not to ruin it um, or add you know, any black dye to where my part is. All right, so I am gonna start to kind of press and push this uh, dye throughout the hair. This hair is very long, so I'm having to add a lot of color. I only ended up using two boxes though, so I probably could have used all three, but I was being lazy, honestly. Um, but the two boxes did get the job done. So now I am going to take this brush and brush the color through. I will be adding more dye as I um, go through it just to make sure it is on all parts of the hair and that I don't miss any spots. So that's what I'm doing now, just brushing through it, um, being really careful by my part in the front just to make sure I don't mess up the lace. to forget about this side so you're going to make sure you add dye to the back side of the wig too. <laughs> Sometimes 
us He say things that we really don't mean We do things in between the lines We should do more than stop I'm sorry if I made you feel Let's do you all A little bit to y'all Alright, so I am all finished putting the dye on my unit. I am about to get ready to just rinse it out um, to get all of the color out of the hair. This process did take, um, as far as rinsing it out, it took probably a good 5 to 10 minutes um, because you just don't want dye to get on your clothes after you have dyed your hair completely jet black. So I did take my time on this part just to make sure all of the excess dye did come out. It's so hard to keep in touch when we're laying right next to each other, baby. We shouldn't be. We're almost done. The last part I'm going to do is add this conditioner, um, mix it throughout the hair, and rinse it out. So this is the next day. I did let the hair um, air dry overnight and I also went through it with a blow dryer uh, right before crimping the hair. Um, it is my birthday currently so I'm on the phone talking to my auntie and styling my hair with a crimp iron. I do want to shout out My Hair Locker for sponsoring this video, for sending over this beautiful unit, and for also sending over the crimp iron. I am very thankful for you, so thank you so much for everything. Hey!